Lady Team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to X4 Foundations. We're picking back up. Uh, it's been a hot second since we did an episode on this, but uh, to be honest, I've, uh, well, uh, long story short, uh, I've been a bit crook. Um, I'm, I'm past it now, and we're just getting back up to speed on the channel, so I'm starting to churn things out like a bloody workhorse once again. And on the bottom of my spreadsheet, about a fall out of rotation, with the last episode about 47 days ago, was X4. So, this is a bit of a gambit. We're going to put it out there. Um, it's probably going to change to part naming conventions, which I've been doing recently, so this is probably like part... Fuck 10 or something. I have no idea, but it'll say in the title, right? Um, so look, if somehow I've missed the uh, the momentum and this falls through the cracks, I apologize, lads. Life, you know, throws us bloody hardballs. But who knows? We might actually be able to recapture this um, and kick on with this series. So yeah, I thought I bet a lot of you thought it was dead. But uh, like I said, personal circumstances got in the way. And I'm just playing catch up now. Anyway, so where are we at? That's right, I'm a dickhead and I'm terrible at this game and, I, and I'm floundering, but you guys have been really helpful so far. I appreciate I read all your comments, even the, the monstrously long neckbeard fucking paragraph, paragraph, paragraph comments, but, you know, I still read them because I appreciate your enthusiasm for all the memery that I'm throwing at you. Um, now, what I just checked then is... Uh, huh? Let me see. I was having a look at this mission office. I'm like, what do I do? I can't remember what I was doing. What do I? Do? And I don't know what I'm doing ever. And I'm driving around these bloody hex grids, right? And I was like, oh, what is this? I don't actually remember this mission. Maybe it's this is exactly what I was doing. But uh, having a look here, hired help. A number of our properties have recently failed their inspections due to leaks that now have to be fixed before it starts to affect our reputation. We are hiring a number of people to help us fix as many of the problems as possible. If you are willing, you can help us in this endeavor by fixing the specified leaks on one buy property, which must be this here. And I'm going to say accept because it's very easy. I knew I could count on you. Look at that. Now, if I, uh, shift A, <laughs> muscle memory wins again, boys. All right, let's go, let's go repair this bloody leak. Um, that's something I'm curious about doing. I know people are like, oh, buy satellites, place this, build things, get a fleet. It's like, no, 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 small baby steps for the small little square head that my brain inhabits. Um, I think getting and doing a couple of missions and figuring out how to do them might be the fun. So if you if you do want to help, you can help me understand. Like I, I scan uh, stations, I think, oh, to pick up st uh, signals to get missions. If you if you guys can point me in the right direction regarding how to get missions, that would be really cool. All right, so scan modes are like this, right? Okay. Leaks repaired, zero out of three. Well, look, I see two markers on my screen. <gasps> I think that's a leak, actually. Was that flashing? Well, there's a lot. Oh, listen to this music. Oh, look at that. Okay, hang on. I think I need to go for a spacewalk. Can, can I range find that? Can you tell me how far that is, game? I don't really want to crash into it, but I also want to get as close as possible. Yes, yeah, so this is my scan mode, I think. Yeah, this is my short range scan mode. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll turn that off. Um, fuck, how do I even get out of my seat again? It's like shift D or some something. Docking granted. No, 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 I don't need, no. Uh, control D? Control D! Oh, oh, oh boys. God, I'm amazing. Elite um, Vanguard. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Sharon. Um, use spacesuit. Enter. Uh, are you sure you want to enter? You don't have to ask me that. I'm a, I'm a bit of a power gamer. Right? You guys might have missed that. Sharon, the, the robot computer lady, she missed that. No, no, no. All right, so W is up. Mouse wheel is go forward. That's right. You know, intuitive as anything. I think tab is like bloody send it. Oh. What happened there? So that flash up then, do I have scan? I do have scan mode. Oh, I can hear a ro robot man talking.
All right, hang on. Isn't that how this works? Seem pretty close. Oh! Okay, cool. So I've, I'm getting markers to the other ones by the look of it. So I might just space walk to them. What's yeah, what's going on there? I can hear you. I can hear you, sir. I just can't tell where the signal is. Oh, hang on. What are these white lines on my map underneath? Do you, do you think maybe I should get in my... How much oxygen do I have? I have a lot. Should be right. Do I get a flashlight or something? I can't remember. I do, but I think maybe tea? No, it's not tea. What the fuck did tea do? Oh, dude, I'm so slow. Fuck this. I'm getting back in the car. Would I even, would I even park my car? Is that it there? I think so. Oh, thank God for markers. Oh, there you go. Now I'm speeding up. Look at this. Um. Uh, request. Docking granted. I t there are so many fiddly little things to this game. Like, I get it. If you're going to be a complicated game, I get it. You need to have complicated controls. And I would argue that, yeah, it does it as perfectly as it could be expected to do. But fuck me. Is it a journey for a beginner? Ooh, just jam it in there. Uh, uh. Alright, here we go. Where's the other leaks? There was one down here. Oh yeah, that would have been a shit walk. Yeah, okay, what's going on there? What, why did it highlight? I wonder, am I actually getting missions every time... Map, map might be easier. Mission offers? Hired help. Guild mission offers, no missions. Mission manager? The experiment, what is this? Oh no, yeah, that, I, upkeep missions. Guidance missions. Why is my mis mission screen changed? Fucking bullshit. Anyway, there you go. You can help me out, team. If you're uh, if you're still so keen. I uh, like I said, I have no idea if no one watches this or if this continues the momentum of the previous series. We'll see. But um, I'm getting fast with these shortcuts. Uh, spacesuit. He says as he slows down. Um, yeah, the scanning scanning for missions, right? I'm pretty sure that's the geo. Is that you? Uh, you go into scan mode and you listen to nearby broadcasts or something. So maybe I can figure it out on my own, but you know, I highly doubt it. Let's just have a quick look while we're here. Yeah, I thought there was like a radio signal. Remember before there was someone talking? Oh, there. Huh. Okay, well we'll get back in the car. Picking up all sorts of chatter. Well, that worked out. 
shift to you see the different colors oops see that's red why is that red I don't actually want to dock. Okay, so that's that must auto scan. I think that's what's going on. Can I scan this big old hub here? Get close to it. Yeah, it seems that my ship like auto writes itself, which is interesting. Tell you what, for a rusty boy, I think I'm picking this up pretty quick again. Every time I fucking start this game again, we're off to the races. There you go, look, I scanned that, I think. I'd be curious, actually, if, you know, we do get people coming back to this. What are people's thoughts of the its other contemporaries? I know it's not direct one-to-one, -one, but I think of things like Elite Dangerous. I know it's very popular to fucking hate Elite Dangerous these days with the direction that it went. I don't know. I actually really like Elite Dangerous. I personally enjoy being kind of straddled to the cockpit. And I, I liked Odyssey as well. It was a buggy launch, but, um... The walking about in those missions, I found good. However, here's, here's a thought, right? The sort of person that plays these sort of games, and by that I mean this, Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, all-encompassing, life-engulfing games. I know that I'm an outlier because I only play it for, well, for YouTube, I play it for a couple episodes here and there, right? But I think most people, the demographic, I don't think I'm wrong to say, would play these games so their fucking eyeballs fall out, right? Like, they just play it for hours and hours and hours, right? And... Oh, what? I thought I... Oh, there it is. There's my hole to stick my head in. Um, so, I feel like I really enjoyed Elite Dangerous, but that's because I didn't flog the horse to death, you know? So, I feel like uh, the complaints with Odyssey and all that was like a longevity issue. Whereas for someone like me, I, I'm still quite enamoured with the... The gimmick. Why are you yellow? Can I scan you? No, no. Yeah, so, um, and Star Citizen I've got, but ugh, my system struggles a bit with it. And trying to capture it, holy shit. So I've barely played Star Citizen. Okay, so... Anyway, I'd be curious what you guys think. But, uh, I mean, am I opening a can of worms? Are you going to be an irrational child about it? Oh, no, X4 is the best and the other are fucking garbage. And if you like the other ones, then you can die in a hole. Like, I'm not interested in that. That's not a conversation with, you know, an interesting person. I I'd be curious what the merits... You can talk about the, the, you know, the negatives of other games. That's fine. But, um, you know, I'm not in the business of just bashing shit because... Acquire a captain for your ship. Oh. I'm not in the business of just bashing stuff because it's popular. Lockbox? Resource probe. Oh, look at this. It's all so cool, man. Why am I even fucking here? I mean, I must have come from there. Did I go? I think I went in a black hole or some bullshit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did actually, now that I think about it. Oh, well, I'm bloody here now, whatever. All right, well, hang on. Let's do what we know works, which is we go shift three, we hold R, and then we do the Mario Kart boost. And we pull up our map. Look at this, we've got all sorts of cool doodackies to go check out. This, however, this. 
start guidance to object. I might have to manually get the ball rolling here. Autopilot engaged. Thanks, Sharon. Yeah. I do find the idea of mining Ducking in these games. I can't like turn into a fucking boring old man. You know, I like farming sim and all that sort of stuff. Oh, I need to line up access to that. Farming sim 22. This channel's going to be taken over by that. Buckle in. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, mining. I, I, I've never really gone down the rabbit hole, but I've had a shift in mindset. So I could, I could really get into that if it's fun, you know. I feel like some of these games have recognized that there are plenty of fuddy-duddies like me that do like a multi-stepped industry process. So maybe maybe you mine and then maybe you set up a factory that you create components or something like that. Yeah, that's interesting. So there you go, boys. If you, if you can't help yourself, if you can't restrain yourself and you need to write me bloody paragraphs about how you know how to play this game, then uh, tell me more about finding missions and tell me more about mining. But treat me as if you would a five-year-old because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, what I Autopilot disengaged. Yeah, good work, good work. Where'd, the, where'd, my, where'd my thing go? Oh, there it is. All right, so apparently you have to shoot the locks off of these bloody things or some bullshit. But I don't believe I have a handgun. Now, this thing's in a weird orbit. Is there a way to... See this? That's my gun there. Is there a way to match it? No. I wonder if you can, because I know in Elite you can sort of turn flight mode off. In this, you lose momentum very quickly. Oh! <laughs> He's bloody done it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Oh, my God. This What a bloody redemption arc. What a return to service this is. Let's go. Let's go grab whatever the fuck that is. Wait, did I have contraband on this ship last time? I was trying to get rid of it. That's also quite possible. Oh, nice. Look at this, bloody bits and bobs. Look like giant fucking laptops. What is this? Can I just drive into it and, and pray? Oh, it's a box. Okay. Dude, I nailed it. I'm the best shot in the in the bloody universe. All right, give me your box. Head, just headbutt it, maybe. Let's see. All right, I, I think that worked. Oh, I think maybe I've got to pop up down the bottom left. Let's double check that when we find meal. Agnu steak, my favorite, and crafting progress. What? Crystal bit. Dropped container. Boys, boys, boys. I'm, I'm, here we go. The life of a scavenger. I like this. I like this a lot. Docking granted. Not bad. Just meandering around the universe, trying to get by. I kind of feel like, here you go. I'll just float an idea, team. I feel like Start guidance object. And granted, I'm a big fan of things like Cowboy Bebop, right? Autopilot. Your protagonist Engaged. surviving from paycheck to paycheck, barely making it, right? It's all about the next thing, and it's not that it, like you're chasing the dream of getting rich, but in reality, it's small fry stuff that pays for the food. And I feel like a survival light in some of these games might be the go. 
Like, it doesn't have to be hardcore survival, but, like, less about starving to death, because that's how survival games are, right? If you don't get food and water and it's a really aggressive bar, then you die, right? But I'm thinking more like your operating costs of survival, be it food bills, maybe you don't even physically eat, but you have to pay a food bill every day or something like that, like a tax. What is going on here? I thought it was sort of like a red flash. Um... I feel like, I feel like having that sort of gameplay could, could be really interesting. What is that? What is that? Is that my waypoint? What are these swirly things? Oh. What is that? Mass transporter, F. Mass transporter, hostile. I don't know what that is. Is that a ship? Oh, shit! What was that? Are they like bombs or something? Or mines? Anyway, yeah, and look, I do like games like The Long Dark. I like the idea of not survival being a mechanic to get you to the main core, like it's a, a means to an end. I think survival being so savage. Yeah, so that's scanning these things, isn't it? Okay, so if they're white, they're not scanned. I like the idea of everything you do is bent against a savage gameplay loop. So The Long Dark, you don't really, there is no need for an end game. In fact, I would argue, this is why I rave about the long dark, that the construction of the gameplay loop of that is incredibly unique. It's not about an end goal. In fact, if you do manage to conquer the gameplay loop and become like self-sustaining, you immediately would uninstall because you've kind of conquered it. So the idea is that it is just brutal and sustaining yourself is is the task in and of itself. Anyway, I wonder if like a spaceship game that could leverage that sort of design philosophy, right? This is very different. This is much more 4X, right? So this is for the dudes that, th that think f like 4X games are actually good. And don't get me wrong, I know I'm being a bit cheeky and facetious, but the end game of most, you know, high strategy domination games like I'll use Solaris and as again I know this is different this is first person perspective but they have a lot in common this is very much about this building an empire and having 10,000 ships from what I understand um and that like I love Stellaris don't get me wrong and Warhammer 2 or Warhammer Total War whatever you want to call it I'm just scanning all these things because I think that's cool um but the fatal flaw in the 4X gameplay loop is that you just become this fucking powerhouse and at the end it turns into a children's colouring book, right? You become so fucking omnipotent, so powerful that you just go around from territory to territory fucking obliterating. And at that point, you're not playing a game anymore. You're cleaning your fucking house up, right? You're colouring in a book. And I wonder if this game turns into that as well. Um, but that's right, I'm, I'll enjoy it until that day. But do you sort of get what I mean? And then when I say something like the Long Dark-esque, where it's it's less about getting to the point where you're all-powerful, galaxy-conquering, bloody boring person, and more about you're scraping by on the dollars and cents that feed you for the next day. Like, I kind of like that end of the power scale. There's more adversity in that. There's more challenge. Anyway, that's not a bash on this game. That's me just talking while I'm scanning. But just some thoughts, you know? Now, why are you yellow? Docking I... granted. Oh, wow. I don't have to request docking permission. Okay, and you're green. This could have something to do with, like, the districts that they are, or... I don't know. I'm getting better at this fucking close range flying, eh? Nice. Okay, any chance we got like some missions or anything like that? Why is it red? 
No mission offers. I think I'm doing the right thing. I think I'm doing the right thing. Regardless, I'm still enjoying it, right? I think most... Because let's be honest, you know, this attracts a few of the sweaty boys, right? Autopilot. There are people Indeed. that are experiencing this for the first time with me for sure and enjoying that wonder. But then, you know, you, you do get a, a crowd, and I, I'm not trying to bash on you boys, but you get a crowd of guys that have played it for 10,000 hours, and then now they want to watch me play it. And, um, I guess I, guess I just... It's, it is interesting watching the demographic, because I would argue a big chunk of you are happy to watch me experience it over, right? It's like the people that lament, oh, I wish I could watch this TV show again fresh or something like that without knowing. So I get that there's this vicarious, the beginning exploration. Oh my goodness, they are, they're like mines or something. I get that you're sort of living through me, watching me meander about. But you do get these other blokes. Oh, fuck, I can't believe you want to do this, that, and all the other. And I, I really wonder, not everyone has to have a lot of introspection, but I wonder how those dudes actually went when they were beginners at the beginning, right? Do they? Is their memory so short that they forget the, the wonder and the, uh, the meandering exploration and that sort of being a small fish in a big oh, pond? Right. I also it's wonder annoying. if the people, you know, that get angry at me because I'm not playing it the way they want me to play it, I wonder if they're the idiots that... I shouldn't say idiots, because I'm speculating, right? But maybe they're the kind of dude that just goes on Reddit and says, best way to play, you know, X4, best bloody builds guide, you know, and they just kind of wreck the experience for themselves. I wonder, because those people do exist. We've covered a lot of station years in the past. And that was always interesting, because you would, you would get these idiots come in. The fuck it, I'm gonna vent, I'm gonna say my piece. You would get these goobers come in, because you had to write like code in, in computer terminals and all that to make doors work and shit like that. It's very complicated. But I'd go through the fundamentals, the basics. Why are we typing this? What are we doing? You know, absolute 101 dipshit edition. What's this? Because that's what I am. I am one of these dipshits, uh, you know. And, uh, but you'd have these guys that would just go into Reddit and they would copy paste someone else's script, put it into the game, and then just start commenting on videos saying, Oh, you're an idiot. How could you not know? It's just very strange, this false posturing. And, um, I wonder, I wonder if you get that in X4 as well. It might be a little bit different because it's, it's less about engineering problem solving and, and pinching other people's script. Anyway, what, what are you talking about, Scarred? I don't know. You're scanning things and you're just having a bit of a bloody ramble. I really, I heard like a symbol, signal. Your loss will be my profit. Oh, excuse me. Hello, are you a, uh... that looks like a mine or something. I'm getting away from that. And it was talking to me and I, I don't like that. Illegal cargo on drone detected. Ooh. Does it follow me? I can't tell. I don't see him on my radar. Your loss will be my profit. Stop saying that. It's... Oh, 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 he's shooting at me. Oh shit, that's not the right button. Maybe I did shoot the station just then. Alright, let's bloody land and, and get this episode over with. <laughs> oh, Scarlet, you fucking goober. Anyway, I enjoy wandering around, right? I don't understand the compulsion to wreck the experience. And this isn't just a YouTuber thing. This is, you know, I like how the unknown. 
I like being overwhelmed. Perhaps I will cross a threshold one day where I want to look up all the fucking answers and wreck it for myself, right? But that day is not today. And, uh, you know, I very much... I very much enjoy the, the spirit of exploration. Nice. Look at that. I can Successfully turn docked. Thank you. Um, let's just. Welcome. No, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the takeoff button. Fuck. Can I um? Oh my god! I need to. Fuck. How do I? I want to land again, but I can't. Hang on, maybe I can select the station. Uh. Trade. Let me bloody... Let me... Oh, fuck it, we'll just save there. <laughs> I accidentally pressed Shift D and took off instead of Control D to get out of my seat. All right, so I'm not perfect, but I think that's part of the gimmick. Anyway, a few meandering thoughts. Uh, this is not bad. I've still got my skills there. I'm not too rusty, which is nice. Like I said, if, uh, if you have any thoughts on how best to scan and find missions and maybe even do mining, they're things that I'm interested in, uh, and I would welcome any and all feedback. Like I said, this will change to part, whatever part it is, so I won't be naming it specifically. And you never know, fingers crossed, this finds its audience again and you guys uh, welcome me back with open arms. But if not, that's right, there's plenty of other games to play. Anyway, enough waffling. Team, thanks again for joining me. I might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.